Hey guys, how are you? It's Sharon here from the blog I Restore Stuff. And um, I have to say that really clearly. It's funny because when you do the closed captioning, it sometimes says, I'm Sharon from Irish Store Stuff. So I now have an Irish store, guys. Um, we might just shut that door over there. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've, I've got Celia helping me behind the camera today. I'm just going to refresh my page so I can see the live here on my laptop before we get started and to let some of you jump on in and join. How are you all today? Where are you tuning in from? Missouri. Where in the world? Missouri. Wow. They've, they're writing it already. Just, it takes a while to just kind of refresh the page, scroll through the old Facebook to just make sure we're all good and live here. There we are. Okay, guys. And I can see your comments coming through. Hey, from Missouri, Michigan, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, um, all sorts of places. Hi, Tracy. Thanks so much for saying hello. We've got a couple of things. If you saw on, I pinned, I posted yesterday on my Facebook page. Does, did anyone's mum ever tell them, what was the line? Finish what you've started. Come on, Sharon, finish what you've started. Well, guys, I have a few projects that we've started over the last few lives. And I thought we'd just finish those off today because sometimes it's something that I'll start like this one. If you remember last week, I showed you how to napkin decoupage, but I actually the real napkin decoupage. I've um, I'm, I've put it in my shop to sell, so I don't have that one here today, but I started this and then worked and finished on the other sign. So you'll see that in the posts and you can see how to do that background for signboards in my last live so you can scroll back for that so i'm going to be using this one the backboard to finish off that sign today and i don't know if you remember when i was revealing my stencil of the month club design that i designed the coffee club the coffee <laughs> coffee club coffee uh de style themed designs which you can also use for tea cafes all sorts of things well, I started this sign and then I also worked on two other signs. So you'll see some ideas there. So if you're in the stencil of the month club, and even if you're not, we have got a special offer for you today. I'll tell you about that in a little minute. But I started on this and it's kind of got that, those retro kind of shapes on here. And then I've made a, I'm going to make this one a reversible sign. So I've started that one today. I'm going to finish it off guys. How many, tell me in the comments, how many of you have projects that you've started, you're waiting for the paint to dry, so you set them aside, work on something else. I'm sure I'll have lots of high fives, hands up for that. So finishing off what we've started, that's the theme for today's. But also I wanted to showcase the Stencil of the Month Club stencils today again, because we've got this amazing special offer and some of you are already in on it because they've been doing it um, this week, where uh, if you mention the word club, so maybe not quite yet, but we might be ready for it um, somewhere in the live. Then if you mention that in the comments, Essential Stencil will send you a little message that gives you two special offers. Uh, there's a special offer for someone who's not in the Stencil of the Month Club and also a massive offer for those of you who are in the Stencil of the Month Club and you'll get a huge offer there in your message box. So that's exciting. And I'll mention that again for those people who are jumping in partway through our live today. So here's what we're going to do. One of the things I'm going to be doing, and I had, um, whoops, I've turned on my hot glue gun here because one of the things I wanted to do, I had these spare little boards that I thought, well, this napkin decoupage is kind of quite busy. So to stencil on that as is, it might be look a little bit too busy. So what I've done is I had these spare little ply boards that you can just, I'm going to use and stick right there on the middle of the sign. And this is going to be a, what did I say? Not cafe. This one's going to be cafe. This one's going to be for teacups. So we're going to make a teacup holder. So I'm going to pop it up here and then we're going to put some little hooks down below once I've finished my stencil. So I've just painted that with some white paint. It's a tiny little ply board thing to go on here and we'll be placing that right there. So I'm just using a hot glue gun to just put it over the back of the board and make sure that stays in place. Whoa, come on. Oh, don't tell me we're running out. 
I thought for sure it would have enough in there. I'm going to poke it through. There we go. Oops. <laughs> I'm not getting burnt, guys. It's okay. That should be enough. Yeah. I don't know if that will work. Here we go. We'll All right, we'll make it work. I'm sticking it on. And this is going to be the top. And that's good to go there. We'll just let that cool down for a second. Turn the glue gun off. I always hold my glue gun over the top of a piece of newspaper because it does tend to drip. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, Vanessa's excited. I'm doing another napkin tissue paper project. I'm actually not doing the decoupage part to show you today, but this is the one that I did start. I showed you on my live last week, but it's another idea of how you can use those as a background for your signs. So I'll be doing that stencil in a minute. We'll let that cool a bit. And this is the one I started. So if you haven't already seen, and if you haven't joined the Stencil of the Month Club, you may not be aware, but I designed this stencil for the month of February, um, which is my birthday month. I'm turning yeah. a big number on Saturday, guys. So yeah. there you go. Um, it has a whole bunch of ideas up here. Plus, if you're in the club, people are posting so many fun ideas that I'm looking at them and going, guys, you're just using all of the bits and pieces in so many different ways because there's so many aspects to it. Now, the add-on, which is not featured here, but the add-on stencil is also a kind of coffee-themed, or well, we've got sweet tea down the bottom here. Uh, we've got shop, we've got cups, all these interchangeable words that are meant to kind of reflect a uh, enamel sign. So say white with black lettering or black with white lettering. Those, so it's meant to look, sort of look like an enamel sign. Um, in fact, Celia, would you mind going to the coffee machine and grabbing my coffee one that I made, the sign that I made, coffee station I put on that one. So it was this one, top one up here. I oh, will show you that in just a minute. Um, 25 is a big number, Betty. Thank you so much, Betty. Betty thinks I look 25. Double that, love, and um, we're there. So <laughs> that's a lovely compliment. <laughs> Betty said 25 is a big number. <laughs> okay, so here's the one, one that I've made. So it kind of has that uh, fake look of an uh, enamel sign on there. If you wanted to, you could get a Sharpie and just fill in those little bridges. I would just use a Sharpie if you're using black lettering just to fill in the little bridges of the coffee station. So you know when you're, you are using a stencil to keep the little parts, like the O would not be there if we didn't have these little bridges on either side of the O. So that's what I mean by bridges, those little gaps that you'll see when you look up real close on the actual stencil. You can fill those in or leave them blank like I have there. Okay, so that's the add-on, and that's the one I'm going to be using for my one there. But this one, we're going to be using all sorts of these ideas. I might need this for my little ideas here. But I wanted to show you that. I've shown you this before, but a shadowing technique of how you can um, add a shadow background. So I'm going to use the word cafe on the first part of this. And Have I'll you tape off. Um... <clears throat> I don't think I have, on metal. Oh yeah, maybe I have. You just, I usually just, if I'm stenciling on something that's metal or painted metal or gloss, I just give it a scuff sand first to just, uh, you know, smooth off the edge. Now I'm just sort of centering this word cafe here on my retro part of the sign. Now that part there was done with this shape. So you've got that shape there and I'll do another one on the back. So I'm gonna make a reverse a reversible cafe sign. So if you have a cafe, you could use this. Or if you just want to put it in your kitchen, in your drink section, that would be a fun idea too. So what I'm going to do is pop some tape down here. Oop. I'm just reusing tape here. Mm -hmm. uh, and also on these words here underneath, because I don't want these other words to show on my stencil because you don't want to accidentally get over onto the other side so let me just do that mm. one lady said the first 50 years of childhood are the hardest <laughs> that's so funny repeat me, probably. Hey guys <laughs> someone said the first 50 years of childhood are the hardest <laughs> <laughs> all right 
Thank you guys so much for letting me know. Why are there people from everywhere? From Georgia? Yes, and so our thank you for the happy birthday messages. That's awesome. It's on Saturday, day after Valentine's Day, so that my husband remembers that when he sees all the Valentine's hearts in the shop, oh, it's Sharon's birthday. I need to get her something. <laughs> isn't, isn't that funny? All right, so what I'm going to do is use a bit of black shadowing, and then I'm going to use this gorgeous mustard color, and the paint I'm using today is Fusion Mineral Paint, which is a furniture paint that I retail here in Australia. So if you are in Australia, you can just get this online at uh, my, my shop at irestorestuff.com. We ship all over Australia, but otherwise you can look up fusionmineralpaint.com and just find your nearest stockist if that's what you want to use. But anything for stenciling, you can use any acrylic paint. So I've centered the word cafe. Now this is actually, I'm going to just slightly off center it because this is going to be my shadow. So if, if I'm imagining that this is the shadow, I'm just going to move it slightly down, slightly across. It's only slight, so you really don't have to, but it, it may make a difference on some signs, depending how big your stencil words are. Oh, thank you for the happy birthday, young lady. They're so lovely, aren't they? All right, so I've offloaded my brush. That's our number one rule. And I'm just using a Klingon round brush which is a furniture painting brush, but I've put a rubber band here to just tighten the bristles and make it a little bit stiffer so that I can do a little twirling method instead of the stippling method. I just like to twirl it and get a good shadow going here. So this is just going to be a shadow background for the stencil for the word cafe. I like the vintage colors that we've got going on here with Fusion. Now the background I've done in a color called Midnight Blue. So it looks quite dark and it is a really dark navy color. And if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. Um, but right now, <laughs> oh, someone says, hi Australia, snowy Woodridge, Illinois. Yeah. We've got a Woodridge not far from us actually. Yeah, it's quite hot here at the moment, but it's been raining, which is lovely because, of course, you would have heard about all the bushfires. The rain is being, uh, being a big blessing, mm -hmm. but um, it's very, been very continuous. So you can see I've slightly shifted it, and now that's the word cafe. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to change colour and use... Well, I probably should wait till that dries first. So we'll do the second part, which, oh, would, be, which would be a good idea. It does dry fairly quickly, but we want to make that go slightly down and off. I'll show you that shadowing effect in a second. What I might do first is, <coughs> excuse me, is I'm going to do wear open on this side and wear closed on the other side and add a little coffee cup or a teacup. It could be tea. It could be hot chocolate. You never know. So, um, hot apple juice. Hot apple juice, hot apple cider. What other hot drinks do you guys like? I know not everyone drinks coffee, but what else do you like in the wintertime for a hot drink? Guys, write it in there. Let me know. And also, the other thing you need to pop into the comments there is the word club. Yep. And if you put in the word club, Essential Stencil will mail you a very special offer. That's just for this week only. Uh, they may have pinned that, yep, to get tonight special right up at the top. Mm -hmm. And you will get a special offer for the Stencil of the Month Club and a sneak peek of March's stencils for the, for the Stencil of the Month Club. And I have seen them and they're pretty amazing. Gorgeous. Can I say spring is coming? So you will love these. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we're going to <clears throat> pop the words, we're open. And I think we're far enough away from that word closed, but I'll just tape it off anyway, just to make sure. And woo, we want to center it. We're doing the best to do the centering. Okay, I probably could have enough on my brush, but I'm just going to dip it in again, offload again. And yeah, some people have seen next month and they're saying it's super cute. <coughs> So yeah, it's a really good deal too. There's, um, and if you are a member or if you are not a member of the Stencil of the Month Club, there are special offers for you there. 
And one person said they tried the napkins like you showed last oh, yep. time and had great success. Excellent. Someone's tried the napkin idea and they've had great success. I had some people send me direct messages saying and showing me their projects. That's amazing, guys. I Restore Stuff is my page. You can send them there or just send them to Essential Stencil too. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the Stencil of the Month Club, we love it when you're in the Facebook group there and sharing your ideas and things. That's so wonderful. All right, so I've got We're Open. We've got the cafe sign. Now also on this, so you can see the different things, the things you've got here. You can say We're Open and we could put a time there like 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Whatever you would like. Okay, so we've got a little steaming cup here. This one looks more like a teacup, do you think? I'm trying to find a little spot to put it now. We could put one on each side. And we could make that a mustard colour. How about that? I'm going to go with this mustard colour here. Yes. Just Just checking your comments. Yeah. Yes, thank you for sharing your ideas. That's awesome. Oh, what have we got? People naming their favourite winter drinks. Yeah, hot toddies, hot tea. Hot tea, mockers, hot toddies, hot oh, mockers. mockers. Yes. Okay, move my. Okay, offloading my mustard colour. Let me see if this will. Mm. I may have to do a couple of coats. But that's okay. Probably should have taped that off as well. The other thing you can use is makeup sponges. Exactly over the word cafe, that's our black paint that we put in there. But now we're going to go over that with mustard, but we want to shift it slightly. Oh, which way are we going now? Slightly across and slightly down, I think. <coughs> So it's shifting it slightly to one side and slightly down. It doesn't matter if you go left or right. It's a shadow. So, oops, hang on. Shadows go usually down. So maybe up. Mm, we'll move it up and across. Yeah, that's what I there we go. Um, oh, lattes. Yes, we've got lattes. Oh, what else? Is there any more questions? Blue vine, which is like... Um, <clears throat> Does anyone ever have a problem with your wood not wanting to take your paint? It almost looks like it has polka dots on it. Oh. You know what that is. Yes, so that's kind of beading, I think, is what you're talking about. The paint starts to bead when the wood is not taking paint. And usually that's a good question for when you're painting furniture. If you're painting over certain surfaces that are oil-based varnishes or oil-based or enamel, gloss enamels especially, you may have a hard time painting on the surface because it'll start to bead. So you need to scuff sand the surface and use a good primer like Zinsa stain blocker is a really good one to put on there first before you then start painting with your furniture paint. I hope that helps. Mm -hmm. There's a furniture painting tip for you. Good question. Which stencil is the add-on for the coffee one? Um, the add-on for the stock coffee one are these enamel sign stencils. Mm -hmm. So that's what you would get for the add-on. <coughs> and you have all different options here of changing out your words and doing all that kind of thing on there. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's that example that I was showing earlier of one that I did for our coffee station. All right, I've offloaded my brush. Let's see how well this mustard takes. And I think that I may have to go over a couple of coats to get that because it is a little bit translucent. And so we might have to do two coats, but the way that you don't get bleed through underneath is by offloading your brush and using less. So if I did use more to try and cover that black, then I'd be doing myself a disservice because you'd get all the bleed through underneath. So it's better to do several coats of thin layers where you've offloaded your brush a lot rather than going in and doing a heavy coat because you wanna try and cover that black. So I'll show you that on the first coat but we will have to do a second coat because it's going to be a little bit see-through so you yeah it's not too bad actually so the word cafe then pops out a little bit as you can see compared as you can see compared yeah that's what yeah. that's right um, to the cup which I just painted in the straight mustard color 
And I could use mustard as the shadow and do a black coffee cup on top of that. So that's another idea. Mm. Um, I feel like I need some, some other things here. Maybe you could do your time there, but I might do some coffee beans on this, yeah. this little spot here. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Yeah, this is a great set. I'm, I really loved designing it. It was a lot of fun. We've got some coffee beans here and you can put them any which way you like. I'm just choosing this way and I might do the same thing. I'll do them in the mustard and then we'll see what it looks like with maybe using mustard as the shadow to go over the top. And I like there's got a cute arrow. There's all these retro kind of shapes and patterns on this stencil design and you can get that today. Type in the word club and you'll see what the offer is. It's mm -hmm. amazing. And um, What's your wait yes. time between layers of paint? Well, I usually just wait until I can feel that it's touch dry. Chalk paints and furniture paints tend to dry fairly quickly. This one's still not quite dry, so we may need a, a little fan. I'll put it down next to the fan in a minute while I work on this stencil. But that one, it seems to have covered a bit better. Maybe I had a little bit more on my brush. See the coffee cup compared to the beans here? So I may have just had a little bit more and it covered more without bleeding, which is still really good. So I will wait another few minutes well, for that to dry. And I'll go on with my other stencil over here. Just putting my lids back and using my plastic bag to pop my paintbrush in because I know I'm gonna use this color for another coat. So always either wrap it in plastic, put it in a plastic bag so that you can use it later and it stops the ends of your brushes from drying out. I'm going to spot the fan on and let this dry. Oop. Thanks. Okay. What is the circle design of the lines in the middle? Oh, the circle design here. <clears throat> That's a bit of fun. We could do that on the other side. I'm trying to think if they have an example. Oh, sort of, yeah. So on the actual, there's the stripes there. You could do like an ombre effect on that, mm -hmm. those lines as well. And I'm not sure if you can see the very top cafe menu in this example here. It's a bit hard to see, but if you, if you look at some of the posts where we've added this, um, you can see it's got around in the circle they've used that behind the word cafe, mm. which is a lot of fun. So, yes, there's a few different things you can use as backgrounds. I like this one here. There's a, this shape here, really great. So many different ways that you can use them all. All right, so I'm going to be using the add-on now. And look at that, my board stuck well. Trusty glue gun has held that down. Sorry. Where do you get your boards? Um, I use both recycled timber, pallet wood, all sorts of things, or I go to the hardware store and get a bit of ply and use that. I think this one could even be, no, this one wasn't, but I sometimes use old bed slats and that, that are really quite wide and thick to do some little signs like this. All sorts of great ideas. There's probably recycle centers and Places where you can find offcuts and Neighbors, scraps of wood. Parents, barns, yep. Sheds. So there is the board all ready to stencil on, and I'm going to make this one say teacups. So we've got the word tea here and cups, and then I'm going to add some hooks down here, and this will be a great little place spot to pop your teacups. Now a ruler. Mm -hmm. Yep, right there. <laughs> Thank you. And um, don't know. I'll need a pencil but what I want to do is just make sure the word tea and cups is just both going to fit uh, the same distance away from the edge of the board let me just see if I can see I'm working in I'm in Australia so we use centimeters guys but this ruler, ruler has inches and centimeters on it is this the stencil of the month yes so this whole set is the stencil of the month club set let me show you really quickly this is the add-on which you can add on top of your stencil of the month club so in there somewhere it'll uh, when you join and today remember that if you type the word club in there's a really super special offer i'm going to tell you what it is you you will get the first month for a dollar so if you haven't joined that's for you um, and there's a special offer for those who are already in the club you don't want to miss that 
It's a huge percent off the Stencil of the Month Club shop, so you'll get that offer too. So, guys, what was I talking about? Uh, the, the, what's in the set. Okay, so that's the add-on you'll need, but there's also three pages to the set. Words, shapes, and more shapes. So every month you get a whole lot for, it is so much value for money, honestly. Alrighty. And if you use my code at the, at the regular essential stencils, you'll get 10% off your orders. So that link is also in the description of the live. <clears throat> but today, if you mention, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about the cough. If you do mention the word club, you will get those special offers sent to you. All right, I think two centimeters sounds good. And two centimeters is mm, almost an inch. No, it's only like at one and a half inches. One and a half inches. All right, so if I do that, I just want to check where that comes to. That's the word T right there. So that I'm going to put T cups and I get the word cups. You know what, I will also need to mark the center of this. Oh, I should be able to line it up. Guys, this is called winging it. Okay, let me see if I can put that two centimeters away from the edge and if it's going to fit nicely. Okay, so that's there. It looks like it's going to be a little close. So I'm going to move it out a bit because we don't want, now I've got to find an eraser to <laughs> rub that out, but I'll do that later. So maybe just one. Let's just try one centimeter. There's the word cups, a centimetre from the edge. Does anyone else have trouble just kind of lining their stuff up? Mm -hmm. Are you a ruler person or do you eyeball it? Because seriously, <laughs> I, if I eyeballed this, I'd probably it's epic fail. Okay, here's the word T. Now just trying one centimetre. But I'm usually, I really am usually, I eyeball things. But when it comes to trying to fit letters in, I do want to space them apart a bit. One centimetre. I think we, mm, I think we're good yeah. with that. Eyeball it, <laughs> eyeball it. Yep. Beautiful so now words. I'm just going to eyeball this this vertical centering. That's what I'm going to eyeball. But I do want to just make sure I've got the same distance. I'm going to go 1.2 centimeters. All right, guys. Yeah. We're doing that with the black to give it that enamel sign look. Oops. Offloading my brush. Holding it down, I can use tape if I want to, or just hold it really carefully still. I'll pop a bit of tape right here because I don't want to get those words. And that's sort of holding at the same time because the tape is going in the letters. Okay. I think last time I did this, I, it's coal black, Fusion's coal black. Um, it's just a furniture paint, acrylic based. So any acrylic based craft paints you've got should work, but I like the coverage that Fusion gives. I think on my other enamel signs, you may have to go over, if you're doing black on white or white on black, you may have to go over it with a couple of coats. Okay, there's the word T. So are these stencils complicated? Complicated like, um, uh, someone asked, are these stencils complicated? I, we give you lots of tutorials, so there's lots of ideas on how to use them, and I think they're pretty straightforward. With all the shapes and things, just look up some of the ideas that they give you on the back, or create your own ideas. Oh, you know what I was going to do is just share this. If you know someone else who would love to see this live, I'm just going to pop it in and share it to our group. There we go. And, or you can tag a DIYer or a sign maker that might be interested in watching. That's always fun. Share to my page. I restore stuff so that all my people can see this too. Mm -hmm. I try to do that at the beginning of the live. So there we go. So we've got T and now I need to do the word cups, which is right above it. So remember I just po popped this. We'll be careful when you're taking your tape off. In fact, I might just, sometimes if you put the tape on fabric, it just makes it a little less sticky if you find that it's sticking way too much. Now, I've got a couple of pencil marks on here. I'll just remove those later. And remember, I'm doing 
one centimeter from the edge, 1.2, because I changed my mind. Okay, now I just got to make sure, and you can see with the other letters that are, that are in exactly the same line as that, that I can get the vertical centering lined up properly. So we'll pop the tape on here so I don't go over those words there. And once again, I'm finding this tape is really good and really tacky, so I'm going to lay it on some fabric, pull it off, and it'll collect a little tiny bit of fuzz to help uh, make it not so sticky. Could you um, just ask people who are typing in the word club? Yep, just some not of to them put them need the... to double check they've spelled it correctly. Okay. Just make sure, guys, when you're typing in the word club, just type C-L-U-B. Just make sure you've spelt it correctly. That word um, correct hasn't taken over. Yeah, if you're, if you're having trouble with getting those messages, you're getting the special offer, just check that you have typed in the word club correctly. The other thing you need to do is just make sure that you are on Facebook Messenger. Because if some people haven't actually, um, or don't use Facebook Messenger, they may not get the messages. So you have to have registered with Facebook Messenger. Most people have, but we're finding occasionally that will be the problem, is that they just haven't um, connected with Facebook Messenger yet in all of their Facebook life. So if you do that, there shouldn't be a problem, especially if you've, if you've popped it in correctly. I see lots of people commenting now the word club. So that's awesome. Yep, make sure autocorrect hasn't turned it into something else. Okay, looking good. So we've got the word teacups here. All right, guys, we have got some exciting things coming up over the next couple of weeks too. Can't tell you, but just wait until you get your emails if you have subscribed to Essential Stencil. There we go, teacups. You'll see um, some fun things happening in the next few weeks that we will be doing as ambassadors with each other. And um, it'll be a lot of fun, that's what I'm that's all I'm going to say. All right, so I've got these little hooks here. Now, I don't know if we have a supply list there, but I think I forgot to put this on the supply list. But, you know, just any hooks, really. Coat hook. These are actually uh, robe hooks, like wardrobe or whatever. Should I measure, guys? I don't know. Maybe I'll just put a ruler here and make it feel like it's in the right spot. Now, this board is actually MDF. What How even does that stand for? How thick is it? I will take my measure and I'll show you. And if you're not from Australia, you probably want to know in inches. It's about a half an inch thick. A couple of centimetres. No, one and something. Okay, so just going to pop this here to sort of line it up, make sure it all lines up and use my little screwdriver. I am totally going to eyeball this. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Let's just go four from that side from that side. Does anyone have like a, a drink station or a coffee station or a tea station, a little area in your kitchen where that's where all the hot drinks happen? Abby said she typed club in all caps and that worked for her. Okay, so, so it, it may make a difference if you type it in all caps just like it says to do in that comment that's pinned to the top there. So type in the word club. If it's not working with lowercase, try it with all caps. And yeah, odd numbers. Oops. Odd numbers are always better. Odd numbers? Yep. Oops. Like I don't know if this... Not I don't think it really yeah, I think odd numbers are great. I think that I may need an actual screwdriver because uh, this screwdriver bit might be, might be too big. And I also might need a nail and a hammer. And I think the hammer is outside in the garage. <laughs> pointed down there. Okay, so what I'll show you a good tip. If you're trying to do this and you haven't pre-prepped the holes that the screws are going in, you may take a long time. See, this is just taking forever uh, to screw that into the wood. But I'll show you a great tip when I get the hammer back here of how you can whack a nail in there and it's 
sort of preps the whole. Let me just check your questions. I'm gonna make a coffee station for my daughter-in-law and myself. That's awesome, Fran. Don't forget, guys, um, if you stay tuned, right at the end, we're gonna be we're going to be picking three winners, which will receive a prize from Essential Stencil for uh, watching the live today. So you could be one of those. So stay tuned. We usually just kind of go through comments and pick a few names. So Celia will be helping me do that at the end. Yeah, I really like this napkin. Now remember, I showed you how to do that at on the last live that I did. So that was last Wednesday night, or if you're in Australia, that's Thursday. And so if you check that out, I will use a pencil to kind of make mark my holes here. And that, that live, I show you exactly how I na decoupage the napkin onto here. All right, so my tip is, what do you call this, Celia, when, you, when you're pre-prepping the hole with a um, pilot hole? Yeah, it's kind of like a pilot hole. Or you could do it with a drill. This is going to be one of those things where I can feel it now. This is not working. And so I have to wait till after the live. And um, so if you can just drill a little tiny hole, it does help to get the screws in place. And the other thing is that I am using MDF, which is, what does that stand for? Mm, micro density fiber yeah. board it's like a particle board and so it can tend to be a little bit act a little bit differently um, when trying to screw into it so let's see how we go with that and my electric screwdriver drill so now that's going in a whole lot easier and it'll be a whole lot easier if I stand up that's a lot easier. Just having that pre-drilled or pre-nailed hole just gives it a little bit of a head start for the screws to go in. So there's your hardware DIY tip for today, guys. <laughs> oh, someone's watching from Garland, Texas. Okay, hopefully that's straight. Oh my goodness. And um, so what I'm doing is you can either do this with a drill and find a tiny little drill bit. But I'm having to remove it with my hammer. Donna says MDF is really hard to nail. It is. You can see. Usually I just kind of pull the nail out, but this is I'm, going, I'm having to use the yeah. claw. Wouldn't that be terrible if I just whacked my thumb really hard on a live? Guys. Yeah. All right, so that was pretty yeah. painless. If you worry about wrecking the board, lay it on cardboard first. Um, wrecking what? Wrecking the board, like damaging the board, put it on cardboard. Oh, okay, yeah. So when you put doing using the claw to get the nail out, maybe they're talking about. Oops. You can put cardboard under the hammer so that you're not going to wreck the board. Great tip. Or just a piece of yeah, cloth or something. Medium density. Yes. yes. Medium fiber density. Yep. Medium density fibre board. Yep. <clears throat> so there's Always enough. in love with the hammer. <laughs> the hammer idea. Yeah, she says she loves it. There's a hammer involved. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this one's a little bit tight. I did have to find a couple of spare screws from somewhere, so maybe that's the reason why. We could have super glued it. We could have super glued it. I don't, I don't know. I don't trust super glue with hooks and teacups. Okay, I will have to tighten that a bit more later. Just use a power drill. Yeah, but our power I know. Drill I tried to use the power drill, but it's actually, it's right here, but it's not fitting in the screw holes. Let me just Sorry. see if... Maybe it did. That was better for that one, but it wasn't fitting the other screws. So, and make sure you get them the right way up. <laughs> Another top tip there from yeah. Sharon. Okay. Right way up. Yeah. Can you tell that I've done that before? Okay. This is looking great. Who else would use this? What would you use? Have a look at the different word options that you can have here. Mm -hmm. And have a think. What would you use yours for? If you made a cup, a cup hook stand. 
You could put coffee, coffee cups, tea cups. Um, you could even just put any of the other coffee words. Coffee station, tea station, coffee bar. Great little place to hang them. Now, of course, you could do this with a much longer board and add a whole bunch more hooks for all of your coffee cups. If you have more than three that you use all the time, um, but it's a great way of displaying your cups. And hook it up on your kitchen bench wall. This one's slipping a bit, so we'll fix that later. But there you go. Isn't that gorgeous? A little teacup, teacup holder. That's one project done. Yes. Remember at the beginning of the live, if you've just joined us, I was talking about how um, my mum or, you know, your parents always often tell you, just finish what you've started. Sharon, finish what you've started. So here I am finishing. What I started on last week's live was this background because I used another napkin for the actual sign. This is the one I used to show you and demonstrate. So if you missed that, go check out last week's live on this time last week. And unfinished object UFO. UFO there you go uh, so here's one that we started working on earlier today now this was another unfinished project I had just done the base and the background for another sign that I worked uh, for a another live that I was doing that I was doing three signs at once we ran out of time so I didn't get to do with this one so of course we just use it for another live so this is cafe we're open I was showing you this shadowing technique here so I'd love to finish that off I don't think I'm going to use that one again now. And remember, this is for the Stencil of the Month Club. And if you type in the word CLUB in all caps, C-L-U-B, then they will, Essential Stencil is going to uh, send you a special offer that you will love. Whether you're a member of the Stencil of the Month Club already, there's a super offer for you there. And if you aren't a member, my goodness, guys, you can join today for the low price of $1 for the first month. All right, all the details will be sent to you via message if you type in the word club, C-L-U-B, in the comments. I was using the color mustard from Fusion Mineral Paint and I had put my little brush into a plastic bag. Oh, and don't forget, we've got some prizes to give away at the end of our lives, so don't go anywhere. All right. Tape it, taped down these extra words on the side so we don't get that. What I'm doing now is just going over for a second coat so that I can really fill out that color. So we've waited till this dried using my trusty fan beside me. Are your puppets painted in little lamb? Uh, the ones behind me, this one here. The blue one is painted in champness, which is actually the blue on the background color of our sign right here that I'm doing. It's called Champness or Champness, C-H-A-M-P-N-E-S-S. -S. That's that color. Offloading and just doing a little swirl in the word letters. And so I just have to, had to make sure that that first layer had dried. Now that it has, I can go on with my second coat. And that's really helped it pop a lot better there. So there's that but there's so many different options with the stencils and the shapes and the things you can put behind them. So with these ones, I did mustard in the, on the cup and on the coffee beans, but I think it would really stand out a lot more if I did them black using mustard as the shadow. So let's just go over that shadowy technique again. You can use that on all sorts of things, any signs, any pic, pic, illustration signs or words. They're especially effective on words to give you that 3D look and really make things pop and stand out. So let me find our coffee cups again or tea cups and our beans. This is the one I used. Oh, did I do it that way? Oop. Here we go. You can use them any which way you like. Did you know that? You can reverse these. Magic. Um, yeah. Does the Ryobi battery-powered glue gun work well? Yes, does it, it does. the temperature okay throughout your whole project? Yes, it sure does. Um, I can't tell you how long the batteries last for any given thing, but obviously they're rechargeable, so I just stick it on the charger if it runs out, but <clears throat> I found it quite good. Okay, so I'm matching my shadow from here. I've gone up and to the your right. 
a little bit on this so that we are going to see a mustard shadow, but black. So I've offloaded my brush and just now popping that black on top of here. I feel like I need just a little bit more black on there. So I'll go over it again. Really working the black into the brush at the same time as offloading into the bristles. Also, if you do have the supply list there, I believe that the Essential Stencil stencil brushes are back oh. as a pre-order. You can get your pre-orders now and they will be coming very soon. So you can order them on pre-order. So I'd encourage you to do that and use my code. Oh. I restore stuff to get 10% off. Anything in the Essential Stencil shop actually. Um, and that's a bit different to the special offer that they're sending you now, but I really hope you'll take advantage of that because there's a really good offer for the club members there. Type in the word club, C-L-U-B. Abby, thank you for the happy birthday message. Debbie says, I need coffee now. She's watching a coffee stencil and so it's feeling the, yep, we need a coffee now, don't we, Celia? Yes. <laughs> She's amening in the background. Yeah. All right, so there's the... There's the black over the top, so you can see that mustard shadow. It's sort of the reverse of what we did here with the word. Yep, Essential has just popped in that in the comments there. So if you're needing the stencil brushes, um, you can pre-order those today and use that link and it'll automatically take you to my code there. So there we go. And now I'm going to do that with the coffee beans. I was just thinking I thought I did my shadow in the wrong direction but we are in the right direction so going up and slightly to the left your right hang on there's something wrong with this oh hang on I've just got to get my beans ah get, your beans in a get row. my beans in a row okay I've got to put them in the right I was trying to do this and it just wasn't lining up properly so you line them up first then we shift slightly across and slightly up to get the shadowing. All right, so I've offloaded my brush and I'm trying really hard not to get this part where I haven't taped it off. So guys, I hope you've been practicing your stenciling. And if you're really not sure about a design, you don't have to wing it like I do. You can actually lay it all out on a piece of paper first and see if it's gonna work. Do it with, or even yeah, just think about the different shapes that you can use from this stencil set. Have a little practice on boards. Or you know what? Just go for it. And if it doesn't work out, it's just paint and you can sand it off and start again. Do another background and start again. So here's my beans that have now standing out a little bit more and popping out because we've added that shadow in the background. So we've pre-drilled some holes here. And so what we're going to do is then flip the board around and I'm going to make another hole sign over here but we may not have time for that today so this could be another unfinished project oh, <laughs> yes yes uh, so these are two things that I've done today to show you I might even show something like that the other stuff in the stencil of the month club so join me and see this it's teacups right here you can use it for cafe so what we can do this is a double-sided sign so the idea is we go cafe we're open and then the reverse side we did another design that says cafe we're closed you could even add your hours there because on the stencil of the month club stencil design this month we've got all of the numbers here cents dollars am pm so you can create your own um, if you've got a little shop or if you know someone who does what a lovely little gift for someone uh, there's served here daily We've got the we're open and we're closed sign. I've just taped that because I was trying not to get that on while I was doing it. But we do have to, uh, what was that? I'm looking. Betty says, no, don't finish it. Don't stop now. <laughs> don't stop now. I oh, know if you want me to keep going, I will, but maybe I'll just do a little background because I probably, you know, it's going to take a while for those things to dry. But I can show you how I did this background again so that it looks the same. Or I can just show you a, who would like to see this circle that we were talking about earlier. Who would like to see the circle done as a, what do you call that? 
Like a light, no, what do you call that when that, yeah. you go change from one color to the next? Ombre. Ombre. Thank you, Celia. My What's words are just kind of, I'm losing my words, people. It's the age. It's the I'm age. Sorry, it's the age. 50, your brain Guys, it's my birthday on Saturday. I'm turning 50 and it's just, mm -hmm. my brains are just like, what? Yep. Oh, dear. All right, so I'm thinking an ombre look would, look, would sound good. Yes, oh let's God. do the circle just for everybody just to see it how it can like work. Yeah, I'd love to do something else behind it, but maybe we can add to this. Um, and so we're going to do a circle. Let's see if we've got it all lined up. And let's start with, so we'll start with this mustard color and then I may go on to like, oh no, the blue we've already used. Ooh. What can I do? The back, the midnight blue then, yeah. maybe. I'm going to need a smaller. And what did we do on the sides? I'm not sure. On the sides of what? The edges. I don't know if it's the edges of this one or that one. Oh, on the edges, nothing. I just had the midnight blue on the edges of this one. We've got still the sign there. And on the back, we've just got this color painted to just give it a contrast. So what I might start with is the mustard. Let's go down. Hopefully I've got this in the center, guys. I'm just eyeballing it. Help me out here. <laughs> I think we're good. All right, adding the mustard and then maybe should I add another color to the ombre? We'll just, so we're starting with the mustard. Now I'm going a left to right here, but on those edges, just make sure you're, I haven't even counted the, the lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Well, how do you divide 10 into three? You can't. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do a little blending here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Well, this one's gonna have a little blend. All right, totally winging this, guys. Should we just do two colors with the ombre look? What did Are they do? a blended look or an ombre? Ombre's from dark to light, right? Yeah, it is, it's not ombre, it's a blended look then. Blended. Sorry, blending some different colors. I need another color, Celia, what I'm gonna do, some kind of cream or white color, if there's anything like that there. Because I feel like we need to kind of do something Maybe in the middle, that's a light colour. Yeah, buttermilk cream sounds good. And another brush? Possibly. Or I might just, if I'm not using the mustard one again, I may just use, use that. Mm. Just living on the edge, you know? Yeah. Risking it. Okay, this is just a buttermilk cream, which is a, whoops, creamy oh. colour. Like what looks like a face? You've got two eyes, oh. a mouth, and a hat. Yes. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? And the blue stripe is the nose. Okay, so I'm just blending this a little bit in the yeah. centre there. <clears throat> Robot eyes. Blend when I've got lines uh, going across. That's a good idea. Blend it on your newspaper when you offload. Yes, yes. I could. Great, Karen. I'm doing a blended. And I think I'll do the midnight blue as a really dark base color. So it's kind of like, yeah, we're not sort of blending the shades at all. I'm just picking three colors just for something different. <laughs> picking three colors and just going for it. I'm actually going to use the brush that I had black on. But you can absolutely get a clean brush. Um, Trish says to shadow, is it right and down or left and up? Um, I usually imagine it as the sun's coming from down, so to make the shadow underneath, so you'd have to move it up. And left or right doesn't really matter. You can choose to go left or right. Just, just making sure that when you remember that, remembering that when you're doing the shadow, um, you've got to do it uh, the shadow first adjusted and then put the because you want the top thing to be in the center do you know what i mean the top layer of your words needs to be in the center a lot you want the shadow to be shifted across a little bit if that makes sense so this color is midnight blue just another little something fun that we can add to that and blending it with this yellowish creamy color and you can make this as faded or as rustic as you like. Kind of blending it into that colour there. It's a little bit of stippling. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. Totally haven't tried this before, guys. Just doing it right here now, live for you. 
But look at that. Almost looks a bit like a sunset or something. Almost. Does. How about that? Really good. Yep. I like it. Yeah. The colours are really nice together too, those ones. There you go. Hey guys, how's that? So then you can add all sorts of things to the edges of it. We've got a few other patterns and things here on the stencil set. There's a, um, like a whole ribbon that goes across, but you don't want to add that to there. There's even these swooshes to come out to the side. Uh, I'm not sure that I would use those on that one. There's arrows, you can add the arrows. This would have been cool as the background for it. So if, you, if I was to do it again, maybe I'd put a background on there and then add the little thing in the middle. I just like that retro shape. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the other thing you could add to it would be the hat <laughs> or the other way around. It could be the smile um, <laughs> is that kind of a thing. Um, you could even just use the top part of it. So let's see how that kind of works. Yeah, you could sort of just add this top line to that around there, make a little bit of a, a different sign. So then I think that I would probably just use the word cafe to come across here on the top somehow. But I'll do that later. So thank you guys. I will, now we need to pick some winners, guys. Um, so Beth says, I see something else I'm going to use. Ooh, Beth, I wonder what she's talking about. Yeah, it does look like a sunset. Thank you guys so much. Yes, um, gradient, that's, the, that's a good word. Thank you, Kimberly or Renee. Um, yeah, really good idea. So we've done gradients there. We've done, we've shown you how to do shadowing effect on this live if you've just joined us. We've also used the add-on stencil from the Stencil of the Month Club this month for February is the one that I designed. And if you quickly, if you haven't already, type in the word club, capital letters, C-L-U-B, in the comments and you'll be sent a message that gives you two amazing offers just this week only that you can use. That's the Stencil of the Month Club for February. And you still have another eight days, I believe, before uh, you can join and still get this one. After that date, they'll be issuing the next March Stencil of the Month Club, which you get a sneak peek of if you type the word club in, in the comments, you get a sneak peek of that. Spring themed, really brilliant. So can't wait for that one to arrive. Um, but also in the regular stencil shop, you can use my code, get 10% off. But don't forget those amazing offers today. Guys, we have three winners. Oh, is this a BE? Yeah. Okay. Penny Belland, you're a winner today. And if you hear your name called as a winner, please uh, email support at essentialstencil.com give them your details, tell them you won on Sharon's Live today and they will send you a special something, something amazing. So we've got Penny Belland and Christine Watering Call, K-A-U-L. Hope I said that right. We'll tag you. Hopefully it'll work. You know, sometimes tags don't work. Christine, you're a winner today. Um, if you know Christine, you can tag her. Christine Watering K-A-U-L call. And the third winner, prize winner for today is Beth King. So Beth King, you're a winner today on today's live. Thank you guys so much for being a part of my live today. You can always go back and catch the replay. And don't forget to look at last week's live where I show you exactly how to do this napkin decoupage. That's so much fun. All right, until next time. And next week, we've got something fun and exciting. Don't forget, if you get Essential Stencils emails, watch your inbox, because in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be doing some fun stuff. That's all for me from Australia, Sharon from iRestore Stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.